Hi everyone, welcome to Bim Guru. In this video, we'll see how we can apply a color or a material to a particular element in a Revit project. Right now, at the screen, we can see that this furniture is not shown in proper color. If I'll go in shaded mode right there, this kind of chair is shown in color, but not this furniture. So how we can apply the color to this furniture? So let's see in this video. There are two or three different ways to doing that one. First one, if I'll click uh, on that one, right click on that one, select all instance visible in view, so that it'll select all the furnitures in this particular view. Or right click on that one, select all instance in entire project, it'll select all the elements in entire project. But fortunately, we only two, so it is selecting only two uh, tables, dining tables right there. I'll right click on that one, or right graphics in view, there are three ways by element by category or by filter what does it mean by element means whatever i selected right now uh, it will apply on um, the override graphics things on that elements only by category means right now you can see this is the furniture so it will apply this override graphics things on all the elements which are coming under furniture category third one is by filter it means i'll apply the filter to which elements or to which categories we can say uh, we can apply the, uh, the the material or the color but right now I'm going you uh, I'm going with by elements only I'll click by element and I'll select any of the material right there the design thing also we can uh, you know select but uh, for, for this video purpose I'm going with solid fill so that we can see proper color and I'll go with the red fine the same for the background as well I'll go with red, perfect, and click on OK. Transparency, I'm not giving. You can give the transparency if you want to show in a particular, you know, class kind of thing if you want to apply on that one. But right now, uh, our main thing is to show the color. Right now, you can see the color to that particular element in red one. These are the plates, I guess. So that is why, yeah, it is not showing. Uh, these are the different family but if you wanted to show the color uh, to them as well we can do that thing but this is not the generalized or the standard practice this is uh, if you if if we want something in quicker manner we can do this kind of situation but what if we have um uh, kind of more models like 40 models 50 models and we are uh, doing the same practice in those of those kind of projects as well this will be hectic process right uh, so uh, what we can do is we can apply the material in a particular Revit family and then we'll uh, you know upload or if it is already uploaded we can replace the family directly so that those kind of properties will be applied in all those uh, Revit models in that particular element so how we can do that thing simply if I'll press control that is right there so, so that will go back uh, we know this is the furniture family so what I'll do I'll click on added family right there okay the material is already assigned so I'll remove this one and I'll tell you how we can do that thing so right now in uh, browser we can see this is the 3d view if I level click on that one this red color is already assigned but it is not showing right there why did not showing Let, we will find out that one as well but first of all uh, I'll remove this color right there and uh, if I select this particular element please make sure this you are only selecting your 3d element only in family itself right now you can see properties we have selected the furniture part okay sometimes what happens in 3d view we have some annotation categories as well the connector things will be right there for the family so if you are selecting those one uh, this kind of property will not be open for the material what you can do you can go in filters cross check uh, whatever you want to select that is your 3d elements only okay right now we are selecting furniture only so i'll click on ok and i'll go right here in material this kind of window will be opened right now this material is already assigned please ignore that why it is not showing in the plan we'll find out that one in this video only uh, right now uh, we can see that the material is assigned 
if I, I wanted to create a new one or I wanted to assign any other material, we can click right there and we can apply that one. How we can create a new material? Suppose I'll delete that particular material right now. Okay, it's deleted now. How I wanted to create a new material? So I'll click on this one, create new material. Default new material is created. If I want to rename, right click on that one, rename. I want to give the name as furniture. TU furniture. Oh, sorry. Perfect. Right now in graphics, you can see there are different, different kind of uh, options are there shading, surface pattern, cut pattern, those kind of things are there. So we need to assign each and every uh, elements category so that if you are going with the shaded mode, we can see proper uh, thing right there. If if you want to see on the surface thing, uh, you know, uh, if, if we are above the element, then we can see the proper color. If you are cutting the element, like our cut plane should be, uh, will be in the middle of the element, then um, the cutting section should be in proper color. So what we can do in that situation, let me show you. I'll go with the color, right the transparency uh, we are not providing right now solid fill profact color red similarly for these one as well i'll assign the cut pattern as well yeah you can you can create your own material that is the different thing right now we are not incorporating those kind of um things in this video because video will be longer in that situation if you want then i'll create a new video uh on those one as well so yeah i've sent but appearance you can see right there in appearance it is showing in uh, rgb color 80 80 80 it means it will not show in red color so we need to assign the red color right there as well so that it will uh, it will show us as a red color okay there are a couple of properties are right there if you want we can discuss in further videos on that one okay now I have applied uh, the thing but it is not showing right there why it is not showing let me check oh i did not apply the material we have created this one i'll click on okay it should be applied perfect now if i'll select it again let me cross check yeah supplied right there it is showing in red color and plan if i'll come showing in red color perfect i'll load into the project perfect yeah it's showing in red color Previously, why why it was not showing? Uh, maybe there was a bug, or sometimes what happens? I'll tell you. Uh, if I'll go in the family again, in 2D, if you'll select the thing, whatever you're selecting, right there, click on um, uh, filters. Right there, there are four things that we have selected. The dimensions. Uh, that's different thing. I have uh, selected this one, so I'm unselecting that one furniture is right there furniture we already given the color so i'll uncheck that one the lines are right there detail item is also right there so if i'll click on ok press h i this is the thing so sometimes what happens uh, we are showing uh, elements uh, as a symbolic lines in the in the um, plan view not in 3d but in plan view so if we are applying the color to the material sometimes it does not show because um, in plan we are hiding the 3d part of the element and we are showing the symbolic part of the element so we need to take care of, of that thing right now if i'll see right there it is invisible if i'll click on visibility of that one it means it will be shown in uh, in 2d right now okay and uh, if i'll go in 3d view I'll uncheck that one in 3D and go visibility graphics, sorry, in plan view. And I'll go in plan and RCP, I'll uncheck this one. It means uh, this element will not be shown in plan view, only in 3D view, it will be shown. And in plan, this portion will be shown. And right now I'm not assigning the color to it. It means if I load this project, uh, this family in the, in, into the project and plan, we can see these black lines right there. Okay, let's see. Yeah, now you can see we are in shaded mode and the color is already assigned. But if I'll go in 3D of this particular element, it will be in shown in proper 3D color. 
these are clashing or like okay yeah okay these are not clashing uh, actually it's a line but scope box is applied section box is applied right there so that is why but if i'll go with proper 3d yeah perfect so you can see in 3d it's showing in proper color but not in plan uh, that we already discussed why it is not showing in uh, plan if i'll come right here if i'll apply these symbolic lines also and uh, and suppose i want to show in different color we can show them how we can do that thing we can directly right click on them or or uh, if this is symbolic line then we can apply the color to it as well uh, this is detail item so we are not going with it but right now if i'll select this line you can see this is the furniture line we can show in as hidden lines whatever if i'll go with the hidden lines it will show me like that so we can show different different kind of things as well to the lines whatever we are selecting but that is not the concern if i load it right now show me one single dash line like that you can see so that is the picture but if you want to show uh, the proper 3d element as well in 2d what you can do the same thing you can either hide those kind of things right there if i'll unhide invisible um, visibility should be unchecked of these elements and in, in 3d these elements should be checked in plan also go with visibility graphics rcp okay and load into the project perfect not showing that so that is how we can apply the color to the family uh, to any any rivet element not only the family rivet element also and um, we can load up uh, now now we can load this family into different different projects it will be shown in proper color proper material that we are assigning to it so that's all guys for, for this video let's meet in my next video thanks for watching this video